<laughs> back in my sanctuary. There you go, back in the sanctuary. This is my first day that I've actually had a whole day to spend here. Yeah. Yeah. Even though I haven't been home so, so it's really, it's nice to be able to just walk in and have it. It's so wonderful. Yeah, I bet it's it's much better now that you get a whole day to actually see how it's going to fit. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah and it fits very well. It fits very well. I find that every time I put something out of place, it's very noticeable. Exactly. It's like you really want to keep everything organized and because it wrecks the energy. Exactly. It does. It will skew the energy when it's when it's been moved. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. A, I'm not even moving. But like, I took out um, I took out a box from the closet just to because I need to still go through things that I have and kind of get rid of and everything else. I'm going. Wait a minute. This isn't working. <laughs> it has to go back in the closet. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's a it's an amazing experience all the way through. Fabulous, fabulous. Yeah, we were we were talking a little bit today about the um, <clears throat> about it being like a prescription, like a you know decorating prescription that it really can become a sanctuary and really can change one's view and mental mental uh, things that are going on as well. The, yeah, the, yeah. I remember, I think the, the word, I'm, I think I would use the word holistic. It's yeah. probably closest to holistic that, at least in my own experience, because the change is actually, it's a very natural kind of change. It's like you don't really have to exert much effort. All you have to do is relax and experience it. Right. And it does all, it does it all by itself. You don't really have anything that you have to do. You just have to make the effort to get the environment taken care of and the environment will in turn take care of you. Exactly. Exactly. And I, I don't know how I can express this to people. It, it Color and the way things are placed and the way things are, you know, the, just the environment can make such a huge difference in people's lives. You know, if you're in a place and you come home and it's a sanctuary and it's comfortable for you and you feel secure, you feel, you know, like it's, it's, uh, this can make a vast difference in people's lives more than, than people could realize. Well, that's exactly what happened here. I didn't, I remember we spoke, you had talked about, well, we'll create a sanctuary and I thought, well, okay. That would be nice. And I'm thinking it's just kind of a restful place to be mm -hmm. until I actually experienced it and said, oh, my God, this really is a sanctuary because it took on the nature of the meaning yeah. of the word. And uh, whatever sanctuary really means, that sense of refuge, that sense of wellness, that sense of well-being, mm -hmm. calmness, um, actually comes to life in your environment. Right. Right, and that's what it is with being a good decorator. You have to be able to read your client. You have to be able to get into their space and see what would work for them because everyone is different. For some, it might be very minimalist would be the thing that would be great for them. And other people, minimalist would absolutely drive them crazy. Yeah. It would be the 100% wrong thing, you know. So, again, it, it's coming to a point of you have to understand your client, understand their energy, understand how color works, understand how energy works, and you have to really be able to get into their mind and their space and create for them, not according to what the designer thinks is fashionable in this moment. You know, it really is based on your client's energy, their likes, their dislikes, their wants, their, you know, and once you get keyed into what they are and how their personality is, then that's what you build on. So yeah. it's, it's for them. It's not my space. Although it's a quite, com you know, very comfortable space. I, you know, I enjoy it there. It's, it's absolutely a, a very comfortable place to be. It really is. And yeah. uh, as we went through doing this, I, 
I don't think I even knew as much as you did about myself and what would work and what didn't because there were times when I'm going, wow, really? <laughs> I really wonder. That color? Hmm. Right, right. When we went from just the beginning of from white walls to saying, I want to put the brown, I want to, and I'm showing you the colors, and you're kind of going, mm, uh, you know, it, it, was a, it was a stretch until we got it on and you actually saw it. And uh, the experience was different than what the mental image was oh, going yeah. to be. But you know, the interesting part of it is it's still happening. This morning, <laughs> I was. I was on the couch, mm -hmm. and I had the opportunity, you know the, the three lampshades? Yes. I had an opportunity to see those in the daylight for pretty much the first time since I've been here, and I said, wow, then they were off, mm -hmm. and then turned up. I said, they're not white. No, no, no. They're, told, they're, they're on the brown side. Right. They almost match the walls. Exactly. I didn't realize that, and I looked at it, I said, my God, if I ever saw that, I would never would have picked it, but it's gorgeous, yeah. and it works. So that process that you're talking about is continuing, it's as continuing. they make all the little nuance of discoveries that are good, that, you know, have been placed in here. Yes. Um, just, uh, just things, that's what I'm saying, you knew better, you knew far better than I ever could about what would work for me and what would not, mm -hmm. um, which is another one of the most amazing things that somebody could actually, you know, probe those depths and be comfortable enough to say, this is what's going to work, trust me. Yeah, yeah. 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 And it's the same thing, you know, you have to be able to trust the person that's doing the design work, you yeah. know. Absolutely, you have to trust them. But uh, again, not not every person that, that's doing design work uh, is able to get into the client's energy. Yeah. You have to be able to understand energy and feel that to be able to translate that into what you're doing for your for your client. Absolutely. Yeah. For myself, you were talking about what was it the this minimal and having it a lot of things and having minimalistic how it affects some people differently. What you've achieved <laughs> here, I've noticed, is you've got that balance going on, but yeah. very in a very delineated way. And it does bounce out because if it were stark with nothing here, I would be one of those ones kind of grasping it. Oh, my God, give me something to hold on to. Right. You have that going on here, but it's comfortable. So yeah. in a way, it allows me to be comfortable with that. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. And, it's and got I'm, a little more spaciousness than yeah. what you've had before, but you can have that spaciousness because the color of the walls and everything, how it's placed, it's very grounded, yeah. and it has a flow to it. It's yeah. not a disjointed type of a spaciousness where it's just empty. Everywhere you look, it's got some visual, visual thing yeah. going on. But, so that that whole holistic kind of approach, that mm -hmm. designer, would you call it designer? RX? Yeah, Designer RX, the designer prescription. This worked really, really well. Ordinarily, that would not produce any kind of a comfort level in me, yet I have that very much. Mm -hmm. In the middle of things, I would have normally been very uncomfortable simply because of the way it's done. Yeah. It's brilliantly done. Brilliantly done. Well, I'm, I'm so happy to be able to do that for you. And, you know, hopefully one of these days I get more clients and I'm able to, you know, work for them. And, and uh, it, it, for me, it's really a fun and interesting thing to be able to get to know people and how they think and what moves them and what doesn't. And then be able to translate that for them into a space where they just come in and they're they're comfortable yeah. and and they're just you know it's like ah oh, yeah, yeah yeah this is this is it this is this is my space yeah Re it's... rather than being a designer's space you know this is my space this is for my personality this is what works for me yeah yeah and actually gets me even just thinking about coming home as a whole different experience it is a real anticipated experience walking in that door because I know it's going to be uh, exactly what I need. Yeah. It's great. Well, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to, to do that space for you. Thank you for doing that space for me. <laughs>
<laughs> so hopefully you enjoy it for quite some time. And, uh, you know, if things shift, let me know. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you for taking the time to talk with me and sharing this with others about, you know, about just how how this works, you know, and, and color does affect people. Color and uh, just the placement and uh, everybody has a different style. Everybody has different things that move them, you know. And again, if somebody is very kind of more sullen, Sometimes they need to have a little more visual stimulant, yeah. you know, but if they're very hyper, then maybe they need to have something a little less, a little less visually stimulating. So again, all of these things are taken into consideration. It's kind of like the psychology of it, the energy of it, you know, as well as the style. And all of these things have to be looked at and navigated through to create just the right space for that, for that client. And, and what I found happens too is that as the space is created and as you actually start living in your space, you realize that everything that's happened from this external momentum of recreating your space, that it's, it's, it goes deep, it penetrates other layers and it gets very subtle. It's yeah. actually an amazing process. It's not just about the space. It's about the internal space as well, which I had no idea it was going to go there. Oh, yeah. It definitely can work on one's consciousness. It definitely can make le big changes within the way one perceives things, the way one interacts with things. Absolutely. That's why uh, you can even say it's like a prescription RX type of designing, yeah, you know. Fine. The prescription designing, you know, and it, it can work to change one's inner consciousness. So that's what I do. I work on the outer to change the inner. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> well, great. Great. So I'm going to let you go okay. and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. And thank you for sharing this time with me, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you so much. Okay, namaste. Stay.